Hello, my beautiful nerds. We are fresh off of a tipathon celebrating the release of this massive game, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And oh, what a journey it was. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is not an easy game to platinum. It's a delightfully big video game with more mini games and combat challenges and open world intel to gather than you can sniff at. Whatever that saying means, I have no idea. After playing Rebirth for over 152 hours now, I can tell you that I am nowhere near the Platinum Trophy, but I did learn a whole lot about the game that I'd love to share. So, if you're interested in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth content, make sure you throw this video a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to the channel for more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth content, and let me know in the comments below what type of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth videos you would like to see. We're starting relatively simple today with a trophy I've seen some folks struggling to achieve, and that is the 300% Stagger Trophy, Staggering Success. And I'm here to let you know it's actually really not that difficult. And once you know how, you might even just get it while working towards the other incredibly difficult trophies that are in this game. So, what's the key for this trophy? Tifa. My world revolves around... Uh, I mean, the strategy, it revolves around Tifa. Tifa and Time Materia. So, the quick setup for all of this, all you need is someone on your team who can use a maxed out time materia. I'd also recommend putting Magnify linked with this, and for pretty much every other challenge in this entire game, so that you can first cast haste on everyone and push that pressure meter to staggered as soon as possible. It really doesn't matter who has the Magnify and time materia equipped, as long as they don't die before Stagger kicks in. Now, I tried doing this with the Titan Summon, and it died just way too quickly, which is a good problem to have. Kujata, though, is the perfect summon battle simulation to get this trophy with, though. Very predictable attacks and elemental usage that you can guard against, and just enough health to survive Tifa's flurry of fist. Start the fight as whoever has the magnified time materia, you get a quick haste off to everyone, and then you switch to the Stagger Queen Tifa. While you're punching the bull in the horns, make sure to get two stacks of unbridled strength built up so that once staggered, you can unleash Rise and Fall and Omni Strike right away. It won't take long to stagger Kujata, and I found that Key Trap works wonders when you have uh, the extra ATB to spend on that. As soon as Kujata is staggered, or right before, switch to your Time Materia user and cast Stop. This will prevent the stagger bar from emptying for a bit, giving you more than enough time to switch back to Tifa, unload those triangle attacks you've built up, and then, with the ATB she no doubt has, can use Unbridled Strength or True Strike to push that meter to 300%, no sweat. I also gave her the Speed Demon keychain, just because when she's successful with an ATB, it gives her slightly more ATB gauge. I found that to be fairly useful, although I don't even know if it's necessarily needed for this specific trophy. It's actually pretty easy to get. There it is. Easy, staggering success trophy. I hope this helps. And remember to enjoy this game, y'all. It is a big one. Take your time and good luck on the platinum. Let me know in the comments what other Final Fantasy VII Rebirth videos you'd like to see. You can also check out my LP channel in the description below that will eventually have the videos of my entire playthrough from the massive tipathon that we just did over on twitch.tv slash Online. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, never give up, never surrender to the amount of stuff to do in this gosh darn video game.